The R15. one that. Well, no, no, I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, we did see R15, or at least the first three episodes. Hated it. Horrible. Hated it. Most boring piece of shit in the world. So it what was were you terrible. talking about? Uh, okay, I linked you the fall catalog. Uh, that one show where you read the synopsis and you were like, "Wow, that was bo- that sounds boring." Uh, was it Tamayura Hitose? Let me check. I, I don't remember. But you said it was some slice of life show that just came off to you as like. Oh yeah, I remember. It, it was uh, it was Hitose. You're right. Let's see. Tommy Yori centers around a young girl named Fusoga who moves to Takahara Hiromoshi to begin her first year of high school. Her father, now dead, grew up in Takahara and her first time back in town in five years. Fu enjoys photography as often gross with taking pictures with her father's old role three five. Oh Oh, wow, there's more detail this time. A shy girl, Fu tries her best to make friends early on, spurred on by her childhood friend, Karu Hanawa. She quickly becomes friends with two other girls. And that was it. See, now, here's the problem, folks. Anime isn't imaginative enough. Back when me and Darkstream were kids, we had Tenchi Universe, where there was this giant universe of space pirates and all sorts of crazy races, and this guy was wrapped up in this harem comedy intergalactic war. And he, Nowadays, it turns out he was a prince of yeah. a big planet that kind of governs the whole galaxy, the Jirai royal family, which and they had a unique culture. I mean, they everything of their environment looked like it was very nature-based, very tree-based. The ship designs, the ship interior designs were ve- were very beautiful. They looked they looked like it was it didn't look like a a, 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 a spaceship that's like on metals or anything. It didn't look like the Millennium Falcon or the Starship Enterprise. Some yeah. of them actually had like water inside the ships. I was actually really impressed by the designs. And, and again, let's go back to El Hazard. I was actually watching a few episodes of that show. Very, very good. Love the unique envir- world to, uh, setting. I, I, li- I do like the uh, character designs of the Bugrums. I thought the characters were very interesting. Um, Shayla Shayla may be my favorite in the series. Because <laughs> I do like her little motor thingy where she just winds shit up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, nowadays plots are some chick has some friends. And, that, you know, that isn't good enough. Like, Go to high school. Go to high school. Take a drink. I, <laughs> I thought otakus were fucking neats. <laughs> oh, now, you see, I'm starting to turn into the thing I hate, and it's scary. I, I feel so scared of being like that, man. You know, getting old sucks because, you know, it? you're just not that interested in a lot of things anymore. you um, maybe because you're too busy, or maybe because you, you it just it only caters up to people who who uh may interest people to up until their twenties. Really cynical. Yeah, I don't want to be that kind of person either. And I've been giving out a lot of positive reviews. I mean, for fuck's sake, I said I like Dickie Toast and Dragon Destiny. Yeah, I try to get out positive reviews. When was the last time we had an intergalactic space anime? I miss those. Uh, exactly. <laughs> God, when do we have an intergalactic space show in general? I mean, didn't you say the Sci Fi Channel no longer has that? I know, and I realize that most of the things you can do in space, they, they, it's been done. But that doesn't mean we can't do it still, because it's still entertaining, and it's I think it's so rare to see that. One Firefly. Well, that's just a wild guess of mine. Uh, th- that guy, I'm not a big sci-fi geek, but I do like a lot of sci-fi anime like Vandred, which was also a space adventure. <laughs> Outlaw Star. Oh, fuck yes, Outlaw Star. Everyone's favorite cowboy beep up. You know, we don't get shit not like favorite. that anymore. Outlaw Star yeah. my favorite. <laughs> Outlaw Star was good, yeah. And, uh, you know, the, I wonder if they're going to take the new Gundam up. Age to space. Hmm. Or if it's just going to be on Earth or some colony. I don't know. I heard it's supposed to be like a three-generation series, so one of those three generations might have what you're looking for. I I am impressed that even though it does look like it's drawn in the style of a kid's show, it looks like it's drawn in the style of a 90s kid's show for anime. So that's that's at least something. Hmm. (laughs) Um... There's nothing... I don't have fun watching anime anymore. They don't make anything fun anymore. 
Yeah, enjoy your Moe blobs. Like, I'm watching a decent 2010 anime right now, and I'll probably review it. Yeah, it's Demon King Die Mile. And I thought you said it was a great anime. I was the one who said it was decent. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> you're, just, you're rubbing off on me. Who, who, are you? <laughs> who am I? Who, who, who are we? How would you get this number? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'm enjoying it. But after that, then what? <laughs> well, after that, then what? What do we have to look forward to? Um, again, that Lupin show might be good, but then again, that doesn't count as a new anime because it's a remake or a continuation. I don't know. This says, it just says fourth untitled TV series. It could be, that, it could be a continuation. But, that and I've never liked Lupin. Yeah. You, you never liked Lupin. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like Lupin. Nope. Lupin. I like Lupin. I might watch it. That might, but then again, that's it. All the newer titles, you know, not interested in what the fuck is this? Not even Persona 4, mostly because I didn't play the video game. I'm probably going to play the fighting game because, well, admittingly, it's because I like fighting games and I do like to play new original titles from time to time. Go out and play the RPG. There doesn't need to be an anime of it. I tried playing the RPG. It was so fucking boring. Well, the. It's it's has like a tutorial span of like six hours. Oh Jesus <laughs> so, Christ, that's hard. Yeah, you have to wait six hours to that's get into some action gameplay. It's the length of a first-person shooter. <laughs> that's the yeah, length of an entire FPS right there, wasted. It's a long, long game. Well, well, well I hope so. But then again, I just don't have that kind of time anymore. <laughs> Let's see, Mike and Keats. I don't know who has that time like if you have enough time to play a persona game then you need a fucking hobby like oh god i tried playing that game and i just after like 12 hours i was like fuck this game <laughs> yeah baku man 2 is coming out yeah like i said that's the second season I haven't even watched the first one or, or i've watched the first two episodes of the first one but i never continued it because i'm just busy reading the manga and why watch something when you can read manga at your own pace with your own time when it's possibly better written? Why don't we your talk about manga for a while, shall we? All right. I always like the manga adaptation. Uh, well, well, not manga. adaptation. <laughs> I always like the manga more than the anime. Example, Ikitoshin. Talk. Yeah. Yeah, talk. <laughs> I enjoyed Icky Tosin a lot more. I liked the characters. I liked the uh, the way they interacted. I liked the plot. Uh, you know, the, some of the characters like um, oh god, Hakufu. Like her character was so much cooler in the manga, at least in the start of the manga. <laughs> yeah, I'm... she got flanderized for a little while there. But like the biggest example I could give is Flame of Rekka is like my favorite manga. I haven't finished it. I've I've own like eight nine volumes um but i love flame Eureka. i tried watching the anime and it was the biggest pile of shit i ever seen in my life wow and it probably wouldn't have been so bad if i hadn't have read the manga but oftentimes if you know the story and know what it could have been then the anime will come off like shit to you <laughs> ouch um let's see what cases i have where the manga was better than the anime well negima hands down yeah. Uh, apparently, people keep telling me that Love Hina, the manga, is better than the anime. And in fact, I shouldn't have watched the anime. Just read the manga. I'm about I'm about two and a half volumes in, and so far I'm neutral towards it, but I'm liking it more than the anime. I have to say, though, um, Love Hina was like the first drama anime I watched, and I was like in love with it when I was a kid. I probably hate it now, though. Yeah. Because I can't stand the run-on joke. No. I, I hate abuse of women that beat men. I don't find it funny. Uh, it wouldn't be funny the other way around. And uh, I don't know. I just don't think it's funny. Hmm. I just, it's not laughable. Oh, she injured that guy. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, I can find some some slapstick sometimes funny, but like the the pervert smack into space thing. Uh... 
is an, it gets annoying after the 500th time. Yeah. And this, hap- and this happens throughout the entire span of a good chunk of anime, dude. Exactly. Uh. It's, it's so awesome to see a dude get abused by a woman. Uh, 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 uh. Not... <sighs> and that's why I'm reading manga more. Even some of the worst manga I've read, like Neon Genesis Evangelion Campus Apocalypse and, <laughs> and fucking Battle Club. Those are some of the worst shit I've ever read, but I still find it more entertaining and it does get my interest more than anime, more than most anime today. Like, and fucking I did... Battle Club is like a train wreck. I did not hate Battle Club. <laughs> Battle Club thankfully takes itself less seriously than Akitosin, but even then it can get a little it, annoying with the fan service and the... It, you were laughing your ass off by like volume three. There was a couple of funny moments, okay? <laughs> like, like that guy who threw the key on the bridge. He's like, oh, yeah. you want the key to the stage? I throw it on the bridge. We're going to play a little competition. The key fell off. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah. And then one of the fucking members like sacrifices his life to throw back the key and he fucking dies Raiders of the Lost Arks. Not Raiders. Right, Temple of Doom style death. Yeah. Okay, fine. That was funny. There were some funny moments and the old man was not a cliche at all. He was not a pervert and he happened to be the most awesome he character like, in the he's, universe. He's like, <laughs> he was like Mr. Miyagi. He kept appearing everywhere. His like he had all sorts of different he uh, takes what, offense personas. To called, he actually takes offense to being called a pervert. Yeah, that's funny. He's like, "Oh man, why are you touching that woman?" I'm like, "I'm giving her a chiropractic treatment, you insolent fool." <laughs> okay, I respect this old man. <laughs> 